and welcome to our instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to show you how to upgrade the drive in the main SATA bay of a 27-inch iMac from 2012 through the present. This can be a rather involved process requiring you to detach the screen from your iMac. It's recommended that you watch this video in its entirety before attempting this installation. We've already gathered our materials, shut down and unplugged the iMac, and are working on a soft static-free surface. We're now ready to begin. The display on the iMac is held in place with an adhesive around the edges which you'll have to cut apart. This is a tricky process which runs the risk of cracking the display, so you'll need to be very careful. Starting on one of the lower corners, insert the screen removal tool between the glass and the chassis. Work along all the edges of the iMac, taking care not to push out on the glass. All we're doing is cutting the tape holding the display on, not prying the glass away. The process may take a little bit, and you may need to go over sections multiple times, so be patient. The corners may be a little tricky. Make sure the tool is right up against the chassis to make sure all the tape is cut. When near the camera, you may feel some bumps as the tape is thin here. Continue around the iMac until you reach the other side. You may now lay the iMac face up on your work surface and attach the suction cups to the upper corners. Do one last check to make sure you've loosened all the adhesive around the edges of the iMac, then lift the glass partway up using the suction cups. The outermost cable should slide right out of its socket. To detach the innermost cable, first lift up on the black plastic tab to unlatch it, then slide it out of its socket as well. You can then angle the display the rest of the way up and remove the adhesive holding the bottom of the display. Simply grab the tab on each side of the screen and slowly pull it towards the center until it comes free. Finally, use your opening tool to slit any remaining adhesive along the center edge and you should be able to remove the display and set it aside. The easiest way to remove the drive is to first move the speaker panel over. Do this by loosening these two Torx T10 screws, then lift the speaker up and to the side. You should now see two Torx T10 mounting screws which you can remove. Once these are removed, you should be able to slide the drive over, then lift it up and out of the bay. Finally, disconnect the SATA cable by simply sliding the connector out of its socket and remove the drive completely from the iMac. The last thing we'll need to do is peel up any adhesive remaining around the edges of the iMac. Then, do the same on the display itself. We are now ready to install the new drive. We can install either a 3.5 inch platter based SATA drive or a 2.5 inch solid state drive with a 3.5 inch adapter. For this installation, we're going to use the platter based drive, but the instructions are the same for the SSD. Slide the mounting bracket from the pins on the drive. You can now remove the pins themselves with your Torx T8 screwdriver. and attach them in the same places to the new drive.
Attach the SATA connectors on the OWC sensor cable to the connectors on the new drive. Then flip the drive over. Remove the backing that covers the adhesive strip on the bottom of the sensor. and press the sensor into place on a metal part of the drive near the spindle. For the SSD, you'll want to place the sensor on a metal piece of the drive near the SATA connector. Finally, with the SATA connector facing toward you, slide the bracket onto the metal pins on the right side of the drive. Your drive is now ready to install into the iMac. Slide these two pins on the drive into these two grommets. Then secure the other bracket with its two Torx T10 screws. Attach the iMac SATA cable to the other side of the OWC sensor. Then arrange the cables so they lay flat off to the side. We can now set the speaker back into place and secure it. Next, we need to put the display tape pieces in place, following the placement instructions on the sheet that came with your kit. The piece numbers will follow clockwise from the upper left corner. Peel off the backing of each piece and set it in place using some small screwdrivers or other thin tool to align the holes in the tape with the holes in the iMac frame. For the two lower pieces, the tape needs to go on the display rather than on the chassis. Make sure you have the corner pieces tight around the edges. Once you have all the pieces set, you can then peel off the backing on the other side to expose the adhesive that will attach the display. Set the display along the bottom edge, as flush with the lip and as centered as possible, but don't let it close yet as we need to reconnect the video cables. Reattach the centermost cable by sliding the connector into its socket and locking it into place with the handle. Then, simply slide the outermost connector into its socket and press the cable into its channel. You can now carefully lower the display into place, making sure you have the edges lined up correctly. Gently squeeze along the edges to make sure the adhesive sticks you can now remove the suction cups. Then use the microfiber cloth to remove any fingerprints or suction cup marks. 